TRI Transmission and Bearing Corporation makes Alinapad journal bearings. These bearings are machined and assembled with tight tolerances. To achieve the proper dimensions, TRI has a tooling package that provides a reliable method of cutting the pads and measuring the assembled radial clearances. The package comes with two kits. The pad machining kit has tools to cut the Babbitt surface of the tilt pads. The kit includes a pad support fixture and the boring tool for a horizontal mill. The tool is a single point turning tool at the end of an extended bar held in a boring head. Because the pad is a partial arc, the bore diameter cannot be easily measured. The Babbitt rod support fixture is used to set the cutting tool to the proper machine diameter, or DM. The fixture holds two Babbitt rods that are cut with the boring tool and can be measured with inside micrometers. The diameter of the boring tool is adjusted at the boring head until the proper DM is validated between the Babbitt rods. When the tool is set properly, the tilt pad can be cut. The kit also includes a pad thickness indicator gauge, which measures the pad thickness while it's still mounted to the pad support fixture. To use the thickness gauge, select the set of gauge blocks that equals the desired tilt pad thickness, or T1. Hold the gauge blocks in the tool between the anvil and the dial indicator and set the indicator to zero. With the indicator set, use the thickness gauge on the tilt pad while it's still mounted to the pad support fixture. The indicator reads zero when the T1 pad thickness equals the stack up of gauge blocks. A cross section of an Alina pad bearing through the pad pivot point shows the assembled stack up. Moving from the center outwards, there's a tilt pad, a pad support disc, and a pad support disc shim. The tilt pad has a spherically ground surface that sits in the pocket of the pad support disc. The pad support disc sits in the pocket of the bearing housing and the radial position of the pad support disc is determined by the pad support disc shim. The distance from the center of the bearing housing to where the tilt pad rocks on the pad support disc is the RP. The second kit measures the RP which is used to calculate the assembled radial clearance or CRA. The major components of the pad setting kit are the plate, the center post and the indicator bar. The bearing and the center post mount to the plate. The indicator bar has a stop ring and a boss that rotates freely around the center post. After assembling the fixture, use the adjusting screws in the indicator bar to center the post in the bearing housing. When the post is centered, the distance from the post to the pad support disc can be measured with inside micrometers. The RP is the measured distance plus the radius of the center post. The assembled radial clearance is calculated knowing the RP, the T1 pad thickness, and the radius of the journal. To calculate the assembled radial clearance, subtract the T1 pad thickness and the journal radius from the RP. The tooling package by TRI Transmission and Bearing is available for our bearing customers. Different packages are available depending on the size of the bearing and metric tools are an option. Contact TRI Transmission and Bearing Corporation for pricing and lead time.